Uh, so, been out here for a few days. Um, it's a pretty nice gig, actually. Uh, I mean, I'll be out here in the forest alone for a while, but um, all I have to do is follow some squirrels, find their stashes, take a few photos. Um, pays really well. <laughs> uh, surprisingly well, actually. Uh, <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that. Um, I mean, I guess it's probably not easy to find someone who's happy to, to live in a trailer alone in the woods for a couple months. So, um, anyway, I've, I've always loved squirrels. <laughs> they're, they're cute and funny and just such cool animals. So, um, I, uh, I think I'm going to enjoy my time stalking them through the forest. Nuts is a mystery game about squirrels and nuts. It's different from other mystery games I've played. Usually, a crime has been committed and needs to be solved after the fact. These games essentially amount to logic puzzles. And there's nothing wrong with logic puzzles. I love a good logic puzzle. But Nuts is a mystery where you're investigating events in progress. You're not just looking at static information. You're following squirrels through the forest to document their habitat for a research study. Except you can't just follow them. You have to set up cameras and use the footage to follow their paths night after night. The mechanics of the game are satisfying in a way I've never encountered in any other game. You set up your first camera where you know the squirrel will be coming from, then go back to the trailer to watch the footage, make a note of which way the squirrel goes as it leaves the frame, then each day you move the cameras around, following the squirrel's nightly route to its stash, trying to predict the most likely path, trying to save yourself some time by jumping a few steps ahead and hoping you aren't wildly off track. Sometimes wild guesses pay off, and let me tell you, when I saved myself a few days of tracking with a good guess, I felt like history's greatest genius, outsmarting a squirrel. The whole game feels very tactile. You carry the cameras around in your hand, you use the buttons and switches on your recording station to zoom, pan, and print out the exact frames you need. You compare what you see through the various viewfinders and on the television screens with what exists out in the world, and try to work out the squirrel's most likely path. To get in touch with Nina, your contact and apparently your manager or boss, you send her a fax and she calls you on the phone. You can take and print out as many photos as you like of anything you want, and you even get your own little conspiracy board to post them on, though it can be fun to just plaster the walls with them. Uh, so I've been out here for uh, a couple weeks now. Um, you know, normally I'm, I'm, I'm quite the loner. <laughs> I, I, I like spending a lot of time alone, uh, very very introverted, introverted type of person. But uh, man, I I've got to admit, I, I think I think the isolation out here is getting to me just, just a tiny little bit. And I've got a ways to go too. So uh, hopefully this feeling will will pass. Um, I mean, I've got Nina. Um, I've got Nina. I, I can talk to her pretty much pretty much anytime. Um, anytime at all, day or night, I, 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 send her a fax and she calls me right back. Like, within, within seconds. <laughs> like, she's, like, she's just standing by that fax machine 24 hours a day, just, just waiting for a message from me. Uh, it's kind of weird, <laughs> come to think of it. Uh, like, like, literally, it can be 2 a.m. or, or 2 p.m. and she always calls right back. Like, like she doesn't even sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, yeah, um, I'm just feeling, I'm just feeling kind of weird. Uh, maybe, eh, maybe a little paranoid. Eh, like the, like the squirrels are up to something. <laughs> Plotting. Um, watching me, watching them. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm sure it's just the isolation getting to me. Just, uh, just a little bit. Uh, hopefully it'll pass. You know, they're, they're just squirrels. They're cute and funny and all that. Uh, but they're not especially intelligent animals, right? Um, not exactly known for their plotting. So, <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> Thought I saw a squirrel pass by the window. Um, I'd better get some sleep. I really love the visual style of Nuts. The graphics are low poly and heavily stylized, and each area has a simplified two color palette, which works a lot better than I would have expected. When I started playing, I had some concerns about this style. My first concern was for myself. 
I'm highly susceptible to eye strain. But to my very pleasant surprise, I had no trouble whatsoever. The colors contrast clearly without being harsh, and the squirrels, the one thing you need to be able to spot and track at all times, always stand out clearly against the background. However, I have full color vision, and I was concerned about accessibility. Colorblindness is really common, and I was worried that colorblind players might have trouble distinguishing important elements from the background. Fortunately, it appears that the developers thought of this too. I looked at the game with some colorblindness simulating filters and also asked a few colorblind friends for input just to make sure, and in all cases there were no issues spotting the squirrels or other important elements of the game. Even in full grayscale, it's easy to spot the squirrels in the darkness. Other accessibility issues seem to have been considered as well. The user can adjust the subtitle and UI sizes, so hearing and visually impaired players should be all set. On the other hand, you can't rebind the controls, so there are some limits to accessibility for those who can't use either a mouse and keyboard or a gamepad. Um, <clears throat> it's been about uh, a month. Um, I am definitely losing it, just a, just a, just a little bit. Uh, still working, still, still doing the work. <laughs> Following the squirrels, yeah. yeah. Find the squirrel stashes, find those nuts. You gotta find those nuts. Uh, it's all about those nuts. <laughs> uh, why do we care? <laughs> I know we're doing a, a research thing for, for conservation or whatever, but um, why the nuts? You know, who cares about the nuts? <laughs> Aside from the squirrels, obviously. Yeah, they love they love their nuts. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll... Um, Maybe I'll watch this later, and after I get back home and go oh, back to normal, I'll be like, wow, I was super out of it. <laughs> I was paranoid. <laughs> but, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll delete all this later, but... but uh, there's, there's something up with these squirrels. You know? Uh, there's... There's something up with these squirrels. Uh, squirrels are having meetings. Uh, that's not normal. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, squirrels are, are, like, territorial, right? I mean, they, they might meet up to, to like, fight or, or mate or something. But squirrel, squirrels don't have meetings. The squirrels are up to something. <laughs> they, they are up to something. Um, what are they up to? Uh, I have no idea, but they're following me. <laughs> I follow them, they follow me. Uh, I think. Uh... I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm just imagining all this. Uh, maybe is this some some paranoid some paranoid delusion? <laughs> I mean, I, I have been out here alone for for like a month. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can trust my own brain at this point. I mean, I yeah yeah, yeah I don't know. I I miss my friends. You know, I've gone months without seeing my friends before. Uh, but, but man, man, there is there is something different about not being able to see them. You know, I, I mean, I mean, I am I am stuck out here. <laughs> I I can't leave. There is no way out of here on foot. It is me and the squirrels, baby. <laughs> me and the squirrels, and just, just a whole bunch of nuts. Maybe I'm the nuts. <laughs> Maybe it's me who is the nuts. I need to go to sleep. Nuts is a game about squirrels and nuts. It's a game about solving puzzles and finding secrets. It's a game about wilderness conservation. It's a beautiful, fun, engaging, fascinating experience which is well worth playing. Nuts is one of those games I wish I could erase from my memory so I could play it unspoiled again. This game, this whole thing, it is not about the squirrels. This game is not about squirrels. 
I mean, I mean, it's entirely, it's entirely about squirrels. Everything you do is about the squirrels. All you can do is, is follow them, record them, stalk them, find their nuts. But, but, but it's not about the squirrels. The squirrels are definitely up to something. Um, there is more going on here than I was prepared for, but I'm not so sure that the squirrels of the enemy. The more I think about it, there is an enemy here. But it's the same enemy we all face off against every single day. The enemy here is the enemy we all already know. The enemy is...